COVID numbers will increase, as will the hospitalizations, as will the deaths. This is according to a new warning. In today's two minute checkup, I'm gonna talk about the new US COVID surge that's on the horizon and some key things for you to consider as you prepare to protect yourself. The two minute checkup with Dr. Dave. Just as everything seemed like it was going back to normal and things were quieting down on the COVID front, it now looks like there is a COVID surge that's on the horizon. I know, I cringe to even say it. Keep in mind that Europe always gets it first, right? It, if we think about what happened with Delta, what happened with Omicron, Europe gets it first, maybe it goes to South Africa, and then we get it. So we're not gonna be surprised or shocked and unprepared by this. And Europe is a bellwether of sorts. Right now, Europe is experiencing its first spike since the BA5 surge last winter. That's according to the European Center for Disease Prevention, essentially their CDC. By the end of last week, Italy reported a 32% increase in hospitalizations and a 21% increase in ICU admissions compared to the week before. Meanwhile, in Britain, there is a 45% increase in hospitalizations compared to the week before. And while cases and hospitalizations and deaths linked to the dominant BA5 variant here in the United States are going down, scientists say, hold on, there is a new subvariant that is likely on the horizon. Here's what I want everybody to consider. What is my personal strategy to avoid getting really sick from COVID-19? No matter what you think of the vaccine and all the other things. Let's face it, the shot is effective. The shot works, right? It, it's gotten us where we are right now. We wouldn't be with our masks off at restaurants and bars and having a great time if the shot didn't get us there. Unless I'm talking to my individual patients, I'm not pushing the shot. What I'm pushing is tactics and strategies. At the end of the day, the overall strategy to beat this thing finally is to have as few unprotected hosts for this virus to get in and play around and mutate and do this thing all over and over again. The best tactic so far happens to be the vaccine. The shot works, but you have to decide just like you did for the first vaccine if you're gonna take it and when you're gonna take it. The other way that we can do this is wear a mask. Nobody wants to hear about wearing a mask right now, but if you think about it, those are the only two tools that we have that are highly effective. The shot, which we just said works, and a well-worn, properly fitting mask.